Hey, I'm Stephanie Rubens. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited you're here today because we are talking all things thimbles. They're not just for Monopoly. Who knew? Why are thimbles important? I mean, aside from the obvious, like, so you don't stab yourself. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there though, right? Like, where, ah, I'm tough. I don't need a thimble. For a lot of my life, I just thought they were like an old timey sewing thing that nobody really used anymore. But honestly, they are so, so, so important and they will absolutely save your fingers. Not only from, you know, stabbing your fingers, but they will also really help with finger fatigue. There are a lot of different styles, some that I don't even have. Um, we'll talk about those as well as we go through, but I'm gonna show you all of my thimbles and then you can see, you can see what's up in the world of thimbles and you can pick the best thimbles for you. Okay, let's jump right into it. First one, I mean, we all know this guy right here, right? This is sort of kind of like the most traditional thimble that you might see um, outside of maybe like a full leather thimble. Um, but it's one that a lot of us are going to be familiar with. So these come in metal, they come in plastic, and you'll see that it is textured. There's a whole bunch of little, um, little, it's kind of like almost like a honeycomb, little indentations. And that is so that, I'm using a really big needle here just so that it's easier to see. But that is so that you're, when you push on your needle, it's not gonna slide. Um, it kind of gives you some grip on the end of your needle there. And some of them you'll see actually, this one doesn't, but the top might be a little bit flatter and it might have a ring around the outside. And that's just, again, to kind of like help if your needle does slip, then it'll catch that little ridge if yours has that. I have also seen ones like this that are um, silicone and plastic together. And the nice thing about the silicone ones is they kind of grab onto your finger a little bit more um, and there's more sort of sizing options because there's a little bit of stretch there. Similar to that are these ones. Now these ones are great if you have longer nails because they give space for your nail to come out. Um, generally the ring parts are adjustable so you can push them closer together to make it tighter or spread them farther apart to make them wider so you can custom fit this to your finger. There are also rings. Now, again, we have the texture and this is for like, sometimes people just wanna be able to push with a different part of their finger rather than um, their fingertips if they're pushing a needle through. And you know what, I think this, the great thing about these is if it's giving you more options of how you use your hands and your fingers when you're sewing, then it's giving more options to people with different abilities and different uh, motor skills and stuff like that. So for some folks, this is gonna be just way easier. You can, um, again, this one is adjustable so you can tighten it. So you could always have this on the tip of your finger or even if you just don't like having something over the end of your finger. Some folks find that really uncomfortable. So that's where these ones are really great. And you can get some that have sort of like a spoon that hang off of it. Um, and you can wear those quite low even if you want to. Um, and it, the ring style is nice if you're going kind of back and forth a lot between your sewing machine and hand sewing because you can just leave it on and it's not uncomfortable. The next one that I wanna show you is a leather thimble. Um, this one happens to have a little coin in here of metal and it has that honeycomb texture on it as well. You can get ones with or without the metal coin in there. This one, for me, this is my favorite for pushing needles through. Cause I tend to use the side of my finger um, and I find that the layered leather kind of catches my needle um, and I just, I really like it. But I do have to make an adjustment to it in order for it to work really well for me. The thing that I always do with these symbols, so these are both new. Um, this one I haven't done anything to, but you can see this one, how I've sort of cut out the underside of it a little bit. That's just because I want it, I don't want this leather on the pad of my finger to come below this knuckle line because otherwise when I bend my finger it starts to push this off so I just go in and I just cut out a little bit so that it's not gonna go anywhere past that knuckle line and then my thimble just stays on better. The next thimble that I wanna show you are actually these guys so these are silicone and you'll see these sometimes in 
sewing supply places, but you might also see them in music stores. Um, you can get them for all of your fingers and folks when they're learning how to play guitar, if you've ever learned how to play guitar, you know that your your fingertips often give out before your desire to put your instrument down. <laughs> and so, you know, once your fingers get a little bit sore, you can pop these on on your fret hand and um, they help just you can play longer because your fingers don't hurt until you're you build up those calluses you know so where these are a little bit different is rather than being you know like one of these symbols where actually this is this is like the thimble configuration that I love so I use this one to push my needle through my fabric and then I use these ones to pull the needle out again. Um, and so having the silicone on your fingertips, what that does is it gives more grip when you're pulling that needle out. So not only are your fingers not like sliding off, um, but you're just not having to squeeze as hard. So if you're somebody who suffers from finger fatigue very easily, or maybe you haven't done a lot of hand sewing for ages and now you're gonna do like a big embroidery project or something like that. Um, or maybe if you have arthritis, these, they will save your hands um, because yeah, the, the fatigue is real and it's another one of those things. It's like folks who use them for playing guitar. Your hands can give up faster than your will. You know, you want to keep sewing but your hands get sore and you just can't keep going anymore. That's why I recommend these ones. Okay, next I want to mention, and I don't have one because it's just not something that I use and I, I don't want to buy things just to buy things, um, but there are these little doodads and you can get them at sewing supply stores, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them in other online shops, and they have sort of a little area that works like a thimble that you can push your needle through, and it also has a little grabber on it. So you can use that grabber to pull your needle through the rest of the way. So again, if you are somebody who suffers from major hand fatigue or you have arthritis, um, that is something that can be really helpful. And they also come with a handy dandy thread cutter on it. Uh, so you're not always having to reach for your snippers. Um, I, again, like I said, I've not used one of these. I would imagine it would take a little while to sort of get used to always having it in your hand and working with it in your hand. Um, but it is another option, so I just wanted to mention it. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really glad that you did, and I will see you next week.